As you might expect, there's some kind of spooky gathering happening somewhere in the U.S. every weekend in October, including Paracons and Horror Fests. But they don't just take place in October. They happen year-round. Winter months, December through February, tend to be slower, with only one or two events the whole month. On the other hand, some weekends during the summer months overflow with events. Some states tend to host more paracons than others, and some cons are based on real-life paranormal events. That and more is what we'll explore in this video. Let's start with cons that celebrate real-life paranormal and UFO events. Whether an alien spacecraft really crashed in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947 or not is still hotly debated to this day. But millions believe it did, and every July, thousands flock to Roswell to partake in the UFO festival that celebrates the Roswell incident. While Roswell considers itself the UFO capital of the world, Pine Bush, New York, calls itself the UFO capital of the East Coast. They hold their Pine Bush UFO Fair and Parade every year in June in honor of the many UFO sightings people have reported there since the early 1960s. But as far as UFO cons go, the McMenamin's UFO Fest in Oregon is second in popularity only to Roswell. It commemorates the Trent sighting in 1950. In September, two cities memorialize the sudden, mysterious, and to this day unexplained appearances of winged creatures that spooked their residents. The Van Meter Visitor Festival in Iowa pays homage to an incident in 1903. The Mothman Festival does the same for the sightings that were reported in Point Pleasant, West Virginia in 1966 and 1967. And let's not forget about Bigfoot. The Fook Monster Festival in Arkansas celebrates a 1971 report of an attack that inspired the 1972 horror movie, The Legend of Boggy Creek. Some states host more paracons than others. Alaska rarely has any paracons scheduled. Hawaii hasn't hosted one since 2019. States like Connecticut, Delaware, and North Dakota also rarely have any. On the other hand, Illinois, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and Texas host some of the most paracons horror fests and Halloween cons of any state. Some horror cons happen more than once each year. Pop culture horror cons like Days of the Dead, Mad Monster, and Monster Mania Con not only each take place multiple times a year, but also in different cities. Multiple states host Bigfoot conventions. You might think either Oregon or Washington would host the most Bigfoot conventions, and rightly so. However, you can find Bigfoot cons in other states popular with those who search for the legendary beast, including Arkansas, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and California. The state where the Patterson-Gimlin film hails from, aka the first known alleged Bigfoot caught on camera footage. Pennsylvania hosts two cons inspired by horror movies. The Living Dead Weekend in Monroeville is a must-attend horror con for zombie lovers, especially for those who first fell in love with the horror subgenre thanks to George A. Romero's films. His 1978 Dawn of the Dead was filmed in the Monroeville Mall, a tour of which is also available during the weekend. Across the state near Philadelphia, fans of another iconic horror movie can attend Blobfest Weekend in Phoenixville. The real-life Colonial Theater, where scenes of the movie were shot, hosts the yearly event. In fact, one of the fun events is the run-out, where they reenact the famous scene from the movie. 
But other weekend festivities include a Blob 5K and 10K, a street fair, and the Blob Ball. There's even a con for skeptics. Skeptics often get a bad rap as naysaying non-believers, but they often make the best seekers. Where most people jump to conclusions with limited facts, skeptics dive deeper in a quest to understand what's really going on. Skeptical folks who investigate paranormal phenomena need fellowship, too. That's where CSI Con comes in. CSI stands for the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry. In addition to hosting an annual convention, CSI also publishes the Skeptical Inquirer. Have you ever been to a Paracon or Horror Fest before? Or maybe there's one or two you attend regularly? If so, let us know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this exploration, Likes are always appreciated. Thanks for watching. Until our paths cross again, ciao for now. Unless you want to keep watching. In that case, here's a suggestion for you. <laughs>